Declining attendance at America's churches has been a persistent trend in recent decades, but now some churches are taking a novel approach to keeping their doors open by renting out otherwise empty space during the usually quiet midweek. Omar Villafranca has the story. Church on Sunday exemplify the spirit of forgiveness to which we are all called. Looks very different from church on Monday at White Rock United Methodist in Dallas. During the week, there's a florist filling out orders next to an artist working on a project, and down the hall, closing of Tai Chi. Students practicing Tai Chi. Bible lessons now share a space with businesses. It's part of a growing trend to keep churches open as attendance falls. Larry Duggins heads up the Missional Wisdom Foundation, a group that helps congregations become a place for commerce. And what happens if well, some of these churches, churches don't fail? Um, churches close when they can't get beyond that unless they have some extraordinary other way to get people to come attend. We can no longer afford to maintain a 60,000 square foot facility. And so Senior Pastor Mitchell Boone admits White Rock Methodists needed a miracle to stay open. Well, I mean, we just knew that uh, we were an unsustainable institution. We were spending way too much money to keep the doors open and the lights on and the staff paid and Sunday morning going. And so uh, it was clearly uh, a move out of desperation. We were close to death. Their prayers were answered when they opened up their basement for business. In addition to creating a mixed workspace for startups to rent, the church reached out to groups in need. An African refugee group that sews bags and other products now rents a room from them. More churches across the U.S. are opening their doors for prayer and profit. Oh yeah, we, we've had yoga, we've had aerial yoga. The tai Chi. We, we have Tai Chi meets twice a week. We have Zen meditation on the second floor. Yeah. Was there any business that was off limits? Yes. yes. So uh, we were approached by an entrepreneur that, that taught pole dancing classes. Okay. And she was wonderful, but we simply said, we can't have pole dancing in the basement of the church. If, and part of that was simply looking out on our part for the best interests of the congregation. Leela James has been a member of this church for 44 years. She says other church members weren't fully sold on the idea of renting out space, but this daughter of a preacher embraced it. Um, I attended the yoga class and I remember one day we got the giggles. <laughs> because we we were just enjoying it so much and we thought well this is the way church should be we should be able to have other aspects of our lives here for CBS this morning Saturday Omar Villafranca Dallas <laughs>